warm on a winter's day. Right? Well, <laughs> yes. We're talking about navigating love in the new year. Every Tuesday here for the month of February. This morning we're tackling putting the sizzle back in a relationship. Fizzle, which I love. You mentioned that last time. We're back with Cynthia Bajan. She's a local um, mentor and life coach. Uh, and so we wanted to add, get to some of your questions that you posted on Facebook this morning. And like I said, shockingly, they all have to do with parents of little, little kids. Mm -hmm. Right? All right. Let me mm -hmm. take the first question. This is from LaBrea. She says, we have a toddler. He keeps us busy. Did I mention he also sleeps in our bed? How do we make time for one another? Well, let me guess what part you're going to zero in on there this morning. Absolutely. You know what? You can't have that, in my opinion. Is ah. that, you know what, we have to set some sort of boundaries as far as, you know, when there's going to be adult time and when there's going to be kid time. So I know it's tough. You know, you want your toddler to be in bed with you and just hang with you. But I think it's really important to set those boundaries and uh, set strict times that, you know, kids go to bed and where they're going to be. So you have some time with your spouse. Otherwise, you're just never going to have it. You know what I mean? So you've got to set those boundaries. Really important. Right, right. And and w I know, I'm, I can only imagine, I, I don't hard. have little ones, that the kids are going to really put up a fuss. Yes. It, it's, you know, it, it's, it's going to be difficult. I mean, this is not easy, but the thing is this. Do you want to fizzle or do you want to sizzle? Right. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good point. You know what I mean? So that's right. the thing is this, is that sometimes, you know, we put our kids first. And you know what? And I've got kids, right? You've got kids. And it's really hard, right? Because we tend to put the kids first. But you really have to do self-care and your relationship first so you can be better parents to your kids. So I want you to try to consider, you know, your listeners to kind of switch that up. Is that if you're really good to each other, you know, as uh, spouses and in the relationship, you're yeah. going to be much better parents to your good. kids. Well, on that brings us to the second question, which is along the same lines from Jessica. She says, how can we rejuvenate our relationship with a newborn? It seems like with our eight-week-old, we are just too exhausted to focus on us. Mm. So they're just beat. Yeah, you know. exhausted, burnt toast, you know, <laughs> the thing is right. this, again, sort of like the, uh, the prior segment that we talked about, those date nights. I mean, I think it's really important to set a date night or a day date, even if it's for a couple hours just to go to a cafe, have a cup of coffee together, have a sandwich together, is that, you know what, God who trust, you know, your, your newborn to somebody just for a couple hours, somebody that you trust so that you can rejuvenate your relationship, keep that relationship going. So, you know, whether it's switching off with uh, a parent, you know what I mean? So you take their kids, you know, once in a while and then they take theirs or you Good hire idea. a babysitter. Mm -hmm. I know it's tough financially sometimes to hire people on, but you know what, do what you can do, even again, if it's just an hour or two a week. You need it. I know. You know, to keep that relationship going. I'm sure a lot of parents out there are watching right now. Come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. <laughs> if you want to reach Cynthia, she's available for uh, mentoring and life coaching. Here's a number for you. We've also got that on GoodDaySacramento.com under show info. Today's date, as I mentioned, she'll be here every Tuesday for the month of February. Next week, find in love over 40. How about that? <laughs> oh, I know a lot I'm of singles excited. out there. I want to know how do you meet somebody? How do you even begin to navigate love uh, over the age of 40. It seems like it make it so tough for you out there. I remember what that was like. So we'll see her next Tuesday. Nice to see you. Thanks. Nice to see, see you. you Thank you. Back to you. Yeah, all right. Perfect. Thank you.